Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Albion. We are in the uh, dungeon under Konos. And we got attacked! Holy cow. That is a lot of Kiz ones. Alright, I'm gonna operate under the assumption that uh, they're gonna flee as soon as we attack the first one, so I am not going to be as concerned about uh, killing them. Save my magic. Of course, they've already uh, opted to move, so it's not that uh, big of a deal. We'll go ahead and kill any of the ones that we can, just for the uh, experience points. But if they flee, they flee. That one did not. No, they're still coming in. Okay. Ten damage to Rainer. Alright, I'm surprised. Maybe it's magic that makes them flee, or maybe they, uh, do have an actual morale check. Not too concerned at this point. Taking a whole lot of damage yet. All right, let's go ahead and help Rainer out a bit. Critical hit, nice. Just about done. And there we go. Alright, 137 experience points. Malthus has reached level 16. 48 life points, 96 spell points, 3 additional training points, and 1 attack per round. Well, that is uh, all of those. And we've got a uh, door through here. And it looks like there's going to be a monster coming our way. Or not. Got a door there. Nothing here. Alright. It's uh, got to be on the other side of a wall then. Our figure is really tall. <laughs> okay, a door over here. Oh, hi. How's it going? Uh, Brog Ones. Alright, that's new. I do not know what those are. I don't know that I like them. When in doubt, Frost Avalanche. Wow, Drew didn't kill one. That little pig snout. And that one goes down. Okay, and that one goes down. Alright, we need to uh, attack this one and hope that we can then move up. Go ahead and move you over here. You're fine there. Move over here. Move over here. Excellent. All right. Let's advance the party. 
you attack that one. You guys all attack this one, which will almost certainly kill it. And go ahead and attack that one. Did we just get a critical hit for eight damage? I think we did. I think they are, they are all going to die now. I think there is another uh, crystal axe that we can get somewhere in the game. Uh, it'll probably be a while, but... Uh, ooh. 44 stones. I mean... I'll take them. Maybe I can sell them. He can carry it. <laughs> Alright, we were not close enough. Manipulate. A document part. Take money. The other part of the document is missing, so I can't use it. Alright. I mean, if I can't sell them, at least it'll make a nice little, uh, bloop when we get rid of 44 of them. Kind of looking forward to that, actually. Uh, let's see. Use magic healing. Rainer, please. And... Uh, let's just, just top Sierra off. Everyone else is okay. Alright. So that's that. Probably wanted that document part. It's a document part, not Arvo part. Any monsters? Well, not yet. Another door there. Alright, what's in this pile of trash? Some money. Monsters? No monsters immediately. Attack! I have no idea where you came from! Alright, I'm gonna hold off on using magic. I'll see how bad they are first. How dangerous they are. Oh, so that's where the rocks came from. They chuck them. Okay, that's a lot of damage, actually. Yeah, frost avalanche time. Heal yourself. Fire rain that uh, row. See how that goes. I am fairly confident that we're not going to be uh, able to sell those rocks, but I mean, I might as well try, right? Okay, so that one is dead. That's good. All this casts healing. Fire rain. Eight damage. Oh, that uh, takes care of the... Oh, no, they're just dead. <laughs> I suppose that is a thing. Go ahead and attack that guy. Go ahead and attack that guy. And he's dead. 128 experience points. Drew has reached level 19. 95 life points. Uh, three training points. Three attacks per round. The maximum number of attacks per round is uh, four. 
and I believe that he gets there faster than anyone else. Alright, so there's nothing there. Let's see what we have inside here. Uh, a sickness antidote. And an insanity antidote. A little bit of food as well. What kind of food has been here guarded by rock-throwing uh, animal things, anyway? Alright, so it looks like up through that door is going to be our next goal. Let's try not to get stuck on stuff. Pretty sure there's uh, gonna be something behind it. Uh, yep. Hello! Alright. Let's go ahead and attack you. Go ahead and attack you. Use magic frost avalanche. Use magic um, fire rain. here. Just do some attacks. I will probably want to rest after this to get more uh, spell points back. Not being able to do a Frost Avalanche is unfortunate. Those rocks do a ton of damage, jeez. I am not a fan. <laughs> it's oddly opaque there. But not anymore. Completely deflected, alright. But those guys are dead. Okay, you go ahead and attack that one, you go ahead and attack that one, you also attack that one, and you come over here. There we go. Now we just need to kill that one. Good. Alright. Advance party. Attack that one, go ahead and move over there. party. And for good measure, I guess we'll go after that one with Sierra. She's super fast, so 133 experience points. Rainer has reached level 18, 54 life points, two training points, one attack per round. Kanag has reached level 9, 27 life points, 63 spell points, four training points. Wow, he gets a lot. Uh, one attack per round. And more rocks. <laughs> oh, are you overloaded yet? No, but that, you are getting close. It's kind of silly for me to do this, but I don't mind. Let's look around this room before we... Uh... Okay, so there's that. Oh. Yeah, let's be careful. So we got a bunch of wall, and then we got something there. Let's go ahead and... Alright, nobody in the party is tired, huh? You say so. 
was that uh, switch? Right there. All right, before we uh, we do that, let's go ahead and save it. Because I do not know what that's going to do. I'll just save it as temp. All right, so it fires a fireball that pushes that. Does it push it further? Does it push it real good? I'm not about to get hit by that, am I? Let's go around this way. Okay, so it's there. What if we hit this again? Okay, we can actually see that there. Does show up on the map. All right. Now can I rest? Too dangerous. Now can I rest? Yes. I'm going through a lot of food doing this, but meh, whatever. Uh, Rainer. Okay. So I need—I know I need to move that somehow. Um, hmm. Supposed to also deflect off of that, and I was not seeing it do that. I think it's supposed to come down here and destroy these, uh, one of these blue walls. Maybe it has to get to a specific place, or maybe... Oh. I did not notice this. So that, that does that. Okay, that one deflects. Did they get the right one? I got the right one. Nice. Almost by accident. Got a door there. I don't think there's anything behind any of the other uh, blue walls. Knock, knock. Hello? There you are. Go ahead and uh, reposition you guys there. Use some magic, frost avalanche. And you can attack that one.
The spell is almost overpowered. And I love it. And to be fair, it is extremely expensive to cast. Like, I'm, I'm kind of guessing that even by the uh, late game, we're still only looking at, like, you know, three castings before she's out of uh, MP or something like that. So that's a pretty powerful balancing factor. We'll probably need to spend a lot of our money on... Uh, We'll probably need to spend a lot of our money on um, MP potions. Go after that one. I did just rest. How about we use Fire Rain on that row? He has a better spell that he will be getting, but he doesn't have it yet. Ten damage. Ten damage. That's more damage than it was doing before. You go ahead and attack that one. You go ahead and attack that one. I don't know how much longer the uh, spell is going to last. Seriously, guys, I can't advance up until you take care of that one. There we go. I love how they just lay their heads down. Ah, just let them go. You guys can run away, it's fine. 89 experience points, more rocks that I am pretty sure I cannot sell. What else am I gonna do with my weight? Ooh, hello. Uh, three turquoise healing potions. Two blue potions. I think you have those. Danu's Collar. We've got a jewel. A, another jewel. Danu's Collar. Let's go ahead and save it before we put that on, although that's probably pretty good. That is the uh, Tuatha de Danon. Um, that's the same etymologically speaking, a deity name. No protection. Can be used by Druid. Oh. Which I believe is you. Yep. Alright, so, stat-wise... Uh, that gives him extra life points and spell points and luck. So he's got 5 out of 25, 30 out of 25, which should increase uh, um, his critical hit rate. Fine, I'll put this down. Forty life points and thirty spell points. Okay, that seems pretty good. I will take that. I approve. Just sitting in a chest over here. And what do we have uh, back here? A protection amulet. Another one.
protection 10. Yeah, let's give that to uh, Kanag. Yep. That works for me. Oh, uh, Rainer doesn't actually have anything at all on his neck, so let's go ahead and give him a uh, silver chain. There we go. A little bit of extra defense. Okay. Uh, I have not been through that door yet, so let's go ahead and uh, make our way over there. Did I? Um. Hi, Daggerfall Void. How are you? I mean, at least I didn't get permanently stuck there. I think I was probably, uh, misprogrammed as being, uh, an illusionary wall when it's not supposed to be or something like that, but, uh, that, that frightened me for a second there because I was like, oh crap, am I stuck? <laughs> uh, but I was not. Good. That, that would have, uh, would have kind of further cemented my, my reputation amongst some people for breaking games. I will point out that I am not the one that found the Daggerfall Void in Valkyria Chronicles, though. That was not me. Hi, Bugs. You go ahead and attack that. You attack that one, and we'll just go. I suppose I should have had Sira attack. That one, especially considering all of the missing. Jeez. Twenty five damage. Jeez, they hurt. And there they go. Starting to run. Wow, actually, we uh, got. Oh, I bet it couldn't. Couldn't go. I uh, didn't have any place to move to. 25 experience points. And there's still some monsters about. Attack! Ooh, a lot of you. Alright. Let's use view of life first. Let's see how many hit points they have. Uh, they do seem to have a little bit random, or at least yeah, because no one hit that one, and it's got twenty nine out of thirty. We'll run with this. I'd rather not use up my uh, spell points. This sky metal cap is broken. Jeez, you jerks. I'm gonna have to repair that. Just getting critical hits, or do they have a higher chance of uh, doing that? Well, Malthus actually hit this one. Yeah, 
And there we go. 75 experience points. Sira has reached level 20. 80 life points, 100 spell points, 3 training points, 2 attacks per round. Very nice, but another helmet that I need to repair. Very rude, game. Very, very rude. Right, there appears to be something in here that I can open. There we go. And it is locked. There we go. A uh, blue healing potion. Stack that there. Some torches. Give those to Rainer. 18 gold. Give that to Tom. A sickness antidote. Which I feel like I probably need to reorganize some things. And a speed amulet. That sounds nifty. So she currently has the power amulet that's giving her a lot of strength. I don't know how that's, uh, what that's doing with regards to her, um, actual attack power, but if I take that off, yeah, she's pretty close to, uh, her max weight right now. But, with the speed amulet, her speed is up to uh, 89 out of 99. From 59. That gives a 30 speed. Drear is 75 out of 99. Uh, that basically means that she will go first against almost everything. And I kind of like that. I kind of like that. That uh, does pretty solidly mean that uh, um, she can get a Frost Avalanche off before most enemies can move. So I am pretty good with that. Now, someone did say that uh, that works in the tail. And it does. All right, in that case, let's go ahead and equip that. Uh, her close range is 52 out of 50. Her strength has gone up. So, who gets the power amulet? Um, I mean, I kind of want to have you with the protection amulet, because... Yeah, especially now that you've lost your uh, helmet. You kind of need that. But that would mean you could carry a heck of a lot. Yeah, we'll, we'll stick with that for now. Um, I need to think about it. I guess for now, giving it to Rainer would not be a bad idea. I mean, at least then he can carry a ton of stuff, so... All right, well, I'm going to do a little bit of inventory management, probably rest as well, and then uh, when we come back next time, we will uh, see about uh, getting out of here. Um, but uh, we're going to need to probably talk to Kantos again. Maybe he'll say something different now that I've uh, been through here. I don't know. Uh, I do have this half note. I have that map. I don't know if any of those will trigger something. But we'll find out next time. See you then, everyone.